हेलो दोस्तों मैं हूं अमित रंजन और आप देख रहे हैं आपका पसंदीदा चैनल जावा मित्र वर्ड प्रोसेसर के उपयोग करते समय किसी फाइल को खोलने के लिए कंट्रोल ओ प्रेस करके ओपन डायलॉग बॉक्स का उपयोग तो आप सभी ने किया होगा यही फैसिलिटी हम अपने जावा एप्लीकेशन में भी ऐप कर सकते हैं इस क्लास की मदद से आप एक डायलॉग बॉक्स खोल पाएंगे जहाँ से आप किसी फाइल को खोलने या सेव करने के लिए रिक्वेस्ट कर पाएंगे तो चलिए देखते हैं कि वो कौन सा क्लास है और हम सभी किस प्रकार इसका उपयोग कर पाएंगे small java program to understand about dialog box to open a file so let us create a abc.java and one import statement swing dot asterisk other one awt dot asterisk and the next one awt.event.asterisk and then create a class which extends jframe now create a constructor and set uh, its uh, layout flow layout and then set the size then set the visibility and set the default close operation and create a button object Open a dialog box. Now, an action listener and button object. Using anonymous inner class. So now here. we can write code about dialog box which is a file so let us uh create a main method and test the program till now let us check the program is there any compilation error nothing is there let us test the program we have a frame here and uh, since we Let us compile once again and check it. So here we have an open button where we can do something on clicking event. So let us create a object of J file chooser. And then JFC. dot so open dialog method to open a dialog box so let us check the program now on pressing open button i we can have a open dialog box two button available here open and cancel so let us check 
the thing. Now it is necessary to know that which one button is pressed by the user. So to know this, the JFC dot swap and dialog box dialog returns an integer value. Keep the value in a variable, and then we can check that what value it returns. So let us check it once again. And we can see that on open, if we will press cancel button, it displays one. So that means cancel button returns the value one. And if we will select some file and press open button, it will return a value zero. So on comparing zero value, we can know that the user has selected some file. So let us compare. However, a constant is already defined to for this, but I am using the value zero to compare uh, at this time. So, if return value zero, this means that user has selected some file. So, we can get the file with the help of get selected file method of the file chooser class. returns the file reference and then we can know the name of the file and the path of the file using get name method and get absolute path method so let us check the program once again Yes, file class is not available here because we did not import the file class. So import java.ir.asterisk to support it. Let us compile and then execute the program. Now we can see here on open if we will select a file then we will see here the file name and the path we can use this file in our uh, in our program so let us let us add a image on the content pan after getting the file name from the j file chooser class so let us create a label object and then add this label on content pan and now create a image icon for that image icon pass the file name in, in the form of a string using get absolute path method and then set the level icon with this and then we validate the frame so let us compile yes I have to declare the label as final because it is a local variable and I am using it in a anonymous inner class so it should be final now run the program and open the dialog box 
and then select an image file. Uh, you see that uh, where in very very easy steps we can get a file using J file chooser class uh, 